With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here the question is, what are the maximum number of rectangular components of a vector can be split in a space and in plane respectively? Now, space means students, it is a three dimensional space. That is, one is x axis, another is y axis, and another one is z axis. Now, x axis, y axis, and z axis. Now, in these are rectangular components, and this is a orthogonal, orthogonal component. Now, a vector can be split into three components. That is, in this direction, in y direction, and x direction, and also in z direction in a space. That is, it has three components. One, two is rectangular components. One is uh, orthogonal component. So we can say a, a vector can be split into three components. Three components in a space. However, in its own plane. So let us take a, a vector is in x y plane. Uh, in this direction x, this is y. And vector is in this plane x, y, making an angle theta with x axis. And this is v vector. So it can only be split into two, uh, two components. One is v cos theta along x direction and v sin theta along y direction. So in, a, in its own plane, it can only be split into two components. So we got the answer what uh, the maximum number of rectangular components of a vector can be split in space. Space is three components and in its own plane, plane is two components. So option one is the correct option. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.